light, the land, and the culture of Spain inspired generations of Spanish artists. And those masters inspired the creation of one of the world's great museums of Spanish art, which tonight celebrates 50 years. SMU's Meadows Museum. The very idea for the Meadows was born in Spain. Founder Algar Meadows went there to explore for oil. He found no oil, but instead something more enduring across the street from his hotel. I lived at the Ritz Hotel, which was just across the street from the Prado. Every day, about one hour or two, we would go over to the Prado and walk through and visit the different sections of the Prado and learn something about the artist and the paintings in the various sections. I became very much interested in Spanish art. Being inspired by those collections, he decided to do something that he felt he was in a very unique position to do, which is to build a product for Texas. In 1962, he decided to give the collection to SMU. In 1965, the museum opens, and there's where the journey of the Meadows Museum starts till today, which is, without a doubt, the most important center for the study of Spanish art in the United States. At 50, the Meadows Museum's reach is international. With support from the Dallas community and Spain, the Meadows and the Prado are active working partners, sharing great works of art, collaborating on international exhibitions, and working together on conservation, including one of Algar Meadows' original gifts to the museum, not exhibited until its restoration in Madrid. Consideramos al Museo Meadows como, como parte de la familia ¿no? de instituciones que cuidan del arte español en el, en el mundo, que estudian el arte español en el mundo, y localizado en una ciudad como es Dallas, tan, tan arraigada, tan afincada con, con la propia historia de España. My counterpart in Madrid uh, always reminds me that it's something almost that it had to happen since uh, Prado uh, translates to English, Meadows. So it's a clear coincidence that um, it's just something that uh, needed to take place. The Meadows Prado partnership is also promoting scholarship with the exchange of fellows who study in both museums. The Meadows Museum is an international museum now. It's at the level of museums in Europe and many other museums in the United States. So definitely, I think this partnership has open the door for many things in the future and collaborations with other museums because I'm sure they'll notice how successful it has been with the Meadows and the Prado, which is something that continues. The Meadows' impact on the world continues to grow. The Meadows organized a groundbreaking exhibition with Spain's Mapre Foundation on the artist Joaquin Soroya. Drawing works from the painter's home in Madrid and around the world, the Meadows created the largest retrospective on the Spanish master in America in over a century. After opening in Dallas, the exhibition traveled to San Diego and Madrid. The Meadows has collaborated with a number of other internationally renowned institutions, including Spain's Biblioteca Nacional and the Thyssen Bornemisza Museum in Madrid. And for its 50th anniversary, the Meadows Museum is hosting two of the most important private collections from Europe. Opening this weekend is the Abayo Collection, a personal collection featuring some of the finest and rarest masterpieces by Spanish artists and international modern masters over five centuries. It is a generous gesture because during the exhibition, the Abio family's beloved paintings leave blank spaces in their home and their lives. Well, I must tell you that I'm really always a bit scared about having my paintings crossing the Atlantic. 
but the Meadows has its 50th anniversary and is the biggest collector of Spanish art outside Spain that justifies to do a, an exhibition of a collection at the Meadows. Well, uh, Meadows is, 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 is our friend. No? We, we, we had a drawing collection there years ago. We thought, why not? I mean, they've asked us and we said yes. And opening in September are treasures from the House of Alba, more than a hundred works collected over 500 years by this illustrious Spanish noble family. These are works this family also lives with in its palaces every day. Well, I think it's a wonderful idea to lend it to such a prestigious uh, uh, museum and so vinculate it uh, to Spanish art and uh, we are really delighted to, to lend it to, to the Middle Museum that I'm sure it will be a, a great success. You know, I think as we start to take ourselves to the next level, we not only need to act world class, we need to be connected to the world. It's fabulous how the Meadows has created a relationship with the whole country through arts. To have this on a college campus is a treasure uh, beyond our ability to count for the, the faculty and for the students. People that have gone on to be celebrated contemporary artists like John Alexander uh, talk about how living in the presence of Goya just transformed their thinking in their developmental period as a young artist. Uh, I mean, through art we become more fully human, we become more sensitive, we become more aware, we become more tolerant of things that are different from us. Uh, and so in this sense, um, having this museum is just, you know, an unbelievable blessing to this community. There's nothing like it. When you combine this museum with this collection, uh, with being part of a university, um, there's that's where it's, it's a very powerful uh, mixing that makes this institution be uh, a place where anyone that is interested in Spanish art uh, will come sooner or later because uh, it's so strongly connected to Spain, its art, and its culture. 2015 is also an important anniversary for SMU as well as the Meadows Museum. The university marks 100 years since classes opened in 1915. The Meadows Foundation has provided ongoing support to the museum, including $18.5 million to build the new museum building and $33 million to the Meadows School of the Arts and the museum. In honor of the 50th anniversary, the Meadows Foundation and Margaret McDermott made it possible to purchase a rare late portrait by Francisco Goya of his grandson, inscribed on the back by the artist. The acquisition illustrates the depth and growth of the Meadows collection, which has more than doubled since the museum's founder died in 1978. And then on March 23rd this year, this announcement. So I'm pleased to announce that the Meadows Foundation is committing $45 million to SMU, the largest single gift ever made by the Foundation, and the largest single commitment in SMU history to the school and to the Meadows Museum. I believe if Al Meadows were here today, he would be thrilled with the achievements of the school that bears his name and delighted that his small Prado on the Prairie has achieved so many accomplishments. On the eve of yet another significant achievement, the museum's 50th anniversary, we are proud to honor his legacy with this gift and really excited about the future. It began with Alger Meadows and his love of Spanish art. Fifty years after his gift created a Prado in Texas, SMU's Meadows Museum enriches the culture of our community and spreads the goodwill of Dallas beyond our borders.